I'm wearing my Mickey ears because I didn't know what to do. Hey guys, it's Ara, and I haven't done this in a while, so sorry if I'm a little bit rusty, but my summer is pretty much over. I have no more travel plans whatsoever, and I just needed something to do besides college applications, so here we are. I asked you guys to ask me questions for this Q&A, and to my surprise, a lot of you guys actually sent in a bunch of questions through Instagram, so we're just going to be answering some of those here. Video ini bakal aku jadiin video bilingual, karena ya kebanyakan followers aku orang Indonesia, maka dari itu pertanyaan-pertanyaannya ditulis dalam bahasa Indonesia. First question is from Ezra. How to pose on camera? If you don't know already, I'm a part-time model, but regardless, I am the worst person to ask this question. Um, I personally find it easier if I'm taking pictures while listening to music because I can lip sync, I can dance, and I can pose at the same time. So it kind of reduces that awkward silence that people usually get when they're taking pictures without music. But if you don't have music at the time, a good alternative is to just have a partner who is good at hyping you up in place of the music. A lot of my friends who take my pictures makes me laugh and they say, oh yes, pose, girl, slay, and stuff like that. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, next question is from at Karen Ah. Cara pede acting gimana, Ra? Okay, jadi setelah mendalami kesenian acting, aku telah belajar bahwa kalau misalnya aku lagi acting, aku bukan diri aku sendiri, tapi aku diri orang lain. Dan itu berarti aku telah meninggalkan diri aku di belakang dan aku telah memasuki badan dan jiwa orang lain berarti kamu mulai dari nol kamu menciptakan sebuah tokoh atau peran yang baru dan untuk menciptakan sebuah tokoh atau peran yang baru orang itu pasti mempunyai background yang berbeda history yang berbeda cara jalannya beda, posturnya beda cara ngomongnya beda jadi kamu sudah benar-benar totalitas bukan diri kamu sendiri tetapi kamu adalah diri orang itu yang telah kamu ciptakan dari nol jadi seharusnya secara otomatis kamu nggak malu nah itulah tantangan kami sebagai aktor kami harus benar-benar fasih mengolah cara membangun karakter-karakter baru itu oke, okay, next question is from at Trisha Ch I'm sorry, I don't know how to read this name um, what's your favorite Broadway musical? my favorite Broadway musical at the moment is Anastasia beautiful cast, beautiful soundtrack, beautiful set and it's one of the top leading Broadways right now, so. And I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard me lip sync to Anastasia on Broadway numerous times. At the sky, look at the water, somebody's bridge, somebody's daughter, who could have known I'd be alone crossing this bridge. Next question is from at Daniel Bangsawan. What's the most interesting thing about you? I think any way to answer this question will just come off as narcissistic. Um, okay, I consider myself to have a lot of tiny, insignificant, hidden talents, which are really irrelevant. For example, I can skate all kinds of skating activities, I can rollerblade, I can inline skate, I can ice skate. Um, and another thing is that I have really really good memory on song lyrics. I cannot listen to a song for uh, like five years and I still know the lyrics by heart. And this works especially with Disney songs. Literally every single Disney song that exists, I know the lyrics by heart for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> okay, next question is from at Sarahi underscore Nadia. Berat badan berapa? Berat badan aku dalam kisaran 45 sampai 47 kg. Kalau tinggi badan aku hanya 160 cm, aku tahu itu pendek banget. Maka dari itu, aku adalah model freelance. Aku gak masuk dalam modeling agency karena aku 10 cm di bawah kriteria. Oke, okay, next question is from at Abriel Fay. Hi Arawinda, what exercises do you usually do in a day? Oke, okay, so I usually start every day with a 15 minute to 20 minute jogging cardio run. And then I go to the gym and then I do more cardio on the gym bicycle for about... 20 minutes or 30 minutes. So that's like a 15 minute cardio routine all by itself. And after that, I jump into my working out routine. Not a lot of people know this, but I was actually enrolled in a ballet academy for about two to three years. And ballerinas have the most complex and hardcore workout routine that I have ever endured in my life. So I combine those ballet exercises and I incorporate it with some fitness routines from Don Saladino. Don Saladino is one of the most highly sought after Hollywood celebrity trainers. He trains Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, and Sebastian Stan. I get Don Saladino's routines from his app called Playbook. It is free, but to see the workouts, you actually have to pay. So that's something that you kind of have to be committed on. Okay, next question is from at Mita Abrila. Hi, 
kenapa sih kak kulit kakak bisa warnanya kayak gitu? Aku suka banget. I don't know why. Karena orang bule suka sama kulit kamu kak. <laughs> Thank you so much. Jadi aku itu seseorang yang tidak mempunyai kulit yang putih. Kulit aku tuh sebenarnya gelap. Gak tahu kelihatan di kamera atau enggak. Dan kenapa kulit aku bisa gelap? Karena Aku dari kecil sudah menjadi atlet renang Dan aku menghabiskan banyak waktu aku di bawah terik matahari dan di dalam kolam renang Jadi aku dari kecil kulitnya udah gelap Dan sebenarnya ada fase-fase di kehidupan aku dimana aku sangat membenci warna kulit aku Jadi dulu pas SD aku dibully terus gak ada yang mau jadi pacar aku karena kulit aku gak putih Ya salah ya stereotype orang Jakarta Kalau kulit kamu gak putih berarti kamu dekil, kulitnya gak cerah, kulitnya gak bersih Padahal gak sama sekali Sekarang Aku sangat-sangat bangga dengan kulit aku yang gelap ini Dan menurut aku kalau misalnya kalian punya kulit yang gelap Kalian malah harusnya bangga Karena menurut aku kulit gelap itu sangat unik Coba kamu bayangin aja semua orang yang kulit putih dijajarin Kamu pasti gak bakal bisa ngebedain Tapi kalau misalnya orang lihat kamu Kamu kulitnya gelap Oh iya dia yang unggul Dia yang beda sendiri Aku inget dia Karena dia beda I think dark skin is exotic It's sexy It's tropical And it represents our country And I think you guys should be proud if you have dark skin Oke, okay, next question is from atputramahardika.t Ini pertanyaan dari temen aku Kenapa kalau jatuh cinta tidak butuh alasan Sedangkan putus cinta harus beralasan Katanya sih gitu Gak tau deh, aku sendiri juga belum bisa jawab Oke, okay, next question is from arya.rifandi Just a simple question, how is your day? It's going great, thank you for asking And since what age did you like comics? I don't necessarily read comics in general because they have too much pictures and less writing I actually prefer to read novels like this which has a lot of paragraphs on it But I think everyone knows that I exclusively talk about the Marvel comics a lot And I don't really remember at what specific age, it wasn't a long time ago But my friend, he just has this subscription to the Marvel comics It's about $15 per month if I'm not mistaken And he just lets me read the comics, so... Yeah Okay, next question is from at Ian Clymer What is your goal in life? Okay, my goal in life is to graduate high school with decent grades Move to America to study film production and acting And then I'm hoping in between those years of studying I'm gonna experience that A struggling actress slash waitress Finally get my big break Win an Oscar, find somebody I love and who loves me back, buy a house next to the beach, start a family, and buy two dogs. Okay, this question is from at Rachel Amelia underscore. Ceritain struggle-nya ketemu Sebastian Stan. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna answer this one in English just because I know that the Stan fandom somewhere will find this and watch this. Let me just say guys, Sebastian may not be a main character in the MCU, but he has one of the biggest fandoms out of all the actors. So just thanks to us. Um, I'm not gonna tell y'all the full details because that's just too extensive. So initially my trip to Singapore was for one purpose and one purpose only, which is a medical surgical checkup thing that I have to do every six months. And our trip was from the 23rd till the 29th of May. Okay, picture this. One night in Jakarta at 1am, I was watching Captain America the First Avenger just because. And mind you, at this time I was already a long time hardcore Sebastian Stan fan and a Stucky shipper forever and always. After I finished watching Captain America, I saw my phone was blasting with notifs and a lot of my friends were just spamming me for some reason. I opened my Instagram DM. Turns out, Sebastian Stan just posted on his story that he was going to be in Singapore from the 24th till the 27th of May. My heart literally dropped at that second. Like, I couldn't believe that the number one person I take motivation and inspiration from, not to mention whom I was watching on my laptop screen on that exact moment, was going to be at the same place at the same time that I was going to be in. I alone, I'm a big daydreamer, but I couldn't even have conjured up that scenario in my dreams. So, I just... Like, I had to. I had to meet him. Like, I just had to tell him in person how much he's inspired me to step into the international film industry. So, in short, I just accumulated all the insights and resources that I could have. I made friends with Singaporean Stan fans. And I even got a map of the Marina Bay Sands because that's the only area that he was going to be in. And by this time, the only information I knew was that he and Chris Hemsworth would be attending a Hugo Boss fashion show on the 25th of May. So, Chris Hemsworth being the Hugo Boss fragrance ambassador, 
had his own meet and greet and I was actually one of the lucky 200 people to attend his meet and greet and I even got front row but that didn't really matter to me because I wasn't really a big fan of Chris Hemsworth himself. So I spent the whole 25th of May in Marina Bay Sands with my Stan fan friend Kimberly, um, anticipating to meet Sebastian Stan, but we didn't. Like we even stood in front of the Hugo Boss red carpet waiting for Sebastian to show up, but it turns out that he went through the back door. So that was really sad. Um, we shed a couple of tears that night. And on the 26th, I didn't have the whole day to myself, so I couldn't really go to Marina Bay Sands anymore. Now on the 27th, my parents and my brother was actually going to Marina Bay Sands in their schedule so I just followed them, met up with a couple of Stan fans. I went to the Marina Bay Sands hotel lobby because I just wanted to see what Marina Bay Sands looked like since I've never been there. And then we went to the Marina Bay Sands car park because we were just, oh, what if he goes here and you know, you can just, you know, oh, like stay there for like five minutes and see if he shows up. Guess what? He did. He showed up in the VIP car park for Marina Bay Sands. Um, he was leaving for his flight. Him and his whole crew and his best friend Will Melnati. So I was there with a couple of other Stan fans. There were probably like six or seven of us. The girls literally just started rushing to his car. And I just, I went to the other direction. So he was already in his car and I just stood outside of his door. I kind of started crying. I don't know, this is just an actor's gift, okay, like I can shed a tear anytime. And for some reason, that made him go out of his car. Like he literally went out of his car because I started crying. And then he approached me and then he gave me the biggest hug ever. It was so sweet. So he gave me a hug first and then he took pictures with me first. But yeah, that's, that's how I met Sebastian Stan. Okay, so I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for sending in your questions and I will see you soon.